Okay, I was just trying to find out what happened when you died. Okay, I'm dead. Yo. How come I can't like
Where's all the stuff at? Where? Where are you? Where am I supposed to kill? Like what? Where's all the guns and? There's nothing. I don't see anything. Aren't there supposed to be zombies? Oh, there's a zombie. Fuck. Fast. Why is he so fast? Oh, me playing with fire. Oh, fuck you, bitch. You run really fast in this game. I like it. get fucking sniped. No weapon. Why isn't there a weapon? Why does it look black and white? Yo Why is every This game's kind of laggy Oh fuck me man 
what? Say what? Say what, bitch? Oh, I'm dying? What the? Oh. How do you eat it? What the fuck? How do I eat? I don't even know what's going on, dude. <clears throat> Am I, like, dead? I just passed out. What the fuck? Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me, man. No, no ammo. I should just die. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, can I drink this? I'm getting cold. Ugh.
Got to be some guns around here. Reason. Hey, sir. Hey, sir, can you help? Sir. Those don't look like regular people. Why, am I cold? What's going on here? He's coming. Get you bitch. Plastic bottle. Searches. Yeah. Fucking prick. Game's a little bit janka. Nothing else in here, man. What is that?
Shit. Come in and get some warm clothes on me. Nothing else.
Give me a gun. What the fuck? Huh. <sighs> Oh yeah, shit, I don't really know how this works. I feel like this game's bad.
Damn, what the fuck? Man, I can't figure this game out. cars in this stupid game got to be a gun dude
fucking move. Grab that. This game's kind of ghetto. Game kind of sucks. Like the actions kind of. Fuck you. I'm like stuck. I can't do anything. And now I'm just like. Like I can't move. I'm like stuck. I don't know about this game, man. It's cool. It's a cool idea, but. Oh, I actually got tired. I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I need to get away. Get away. Oh, shit. I wish this game had more features and stuff. It's a pretty cool game. Just like, it kind of sucks. How am I, how am I so thirsty? But where did I just come from? Why am I so thirsty? Fuck. Oh, I'm dead. I don't know, it's not that old. Fucking bitch. <clears throat> I was gonna ban you from my channel, but I just thought whatever. <clears throat> I mean, people do call other people trash and, you know, they don't seem to care. So I guess whatever. But I mean, it doesn't mean I'm going to be your friend if you're getting drunk and calling me trash. So, 
you know. Don't really want to be friends with someone that gets drunk and tries to talk shit. So. Not fucking funny at all, so. I mean, I don't like it. This game's kind of old. It looks okay, but it the action kind of sucks. Well, you know, it's just like it's not funny. It's not fucking funny. No one's laughing, man. What am I fucking five years old? I do real comedy, dude. I don't fucking go, oh, you're trash. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is that? I mean, I do do some, I, I do do some kind of childish shit, but, you know, I just, I just don't like it. I don't like anybody. If my fucking own family was, set, was doing that, I would, I would fucking not even talk to them. Are you kidding me? You know, I don't give a fuck who you are. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, Why? And it's cool, you know, it's fine. It's, I don't care. You know, it's totally fine. You know, I'm not even mad, but it's just like, I'm like, what? You know, this, this actually looks pretty good, though. I was going to ban, I, I was going to ban you, man, but I just like, well, you know, whatever, you know. You want to do that? That's, that's cool, man. But, you know, it's just like, whatever, dude. I mean, people talk shit to me all the time online, you know, and I'm just like, whatever, you know, you want to chill and have a good time? That's fucking cool. That's great, man. I don't give a fuck. You're drunk as fuck and want to call me trash. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up, you know, <laughs> like, I don't care. I don't give a fuck, bro. Kyle was on my stream for a minute. He was being nice, and I haven't even talked to him in years. No, it's cool, man. You know? I don't care. Like, you could even still do it. It's just like, I, I mean, probably not gonna. I, I don't know, man. It just, you know? Fuck. It's all good. I don't know about this game. I might return this game. <sighs> I pretty much just got triggered. Really pissed off. This game, I don't know, man. I, I have an hour to play to see if I want to keep it. If I can find a fucking gun, and I, now I'm cold, so I don't know, man. Fuck, man. I don't know if I should have bought this game. Fuck. I might return this game. God damn it. I, I don't want to, though. Like, I want to fucking enjoy this game. I just, I don't know, man. I'm running around here. It's so hard. Like, I can't find anything. What am I going to do with this glow stick? Fucking shove it up my ass? Jesus Christ, man. I don't know what the indicators are. These doors are kind of janky. The combat's kind of janky. I don't know how the gun action is. The gun action might be good. I watched some guy do the gun action. So the gun action, the gun action might be pretty good, actually.
Oh, I got a backpack. Okay. I don't know about this game. 20, 20, 28 dollars for this. I don't know, man. I'm dying. I'm hungry. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. It's kind of hard to do things in this game. Kind of hard to. This, yeah, this is on Steam. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you know, dude, it's like, you know, it's, it's, we're in, like, it's all good, dude. I understand, like, you know, you get drunk and you don't, you know, like, I don't care. It's fine. It just, it just, I just got triggered, you know? And it's like, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic and all this, you know, and it's, all the you know all this other shit my you know so it's just but yeah this is on steam you know i just got this treadmill i'm trying i'm trying to lose weight now so which it's like i got fat and now i can't like so i was forced my car's fucked up my car's overheating my car's overheating. I have to go look at the shop Tuesday. You know? It sucks. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm, I'm kind of stressed out. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, it's it's all good, man. I just got kind of like pissed off. It's like, dude, if you're just gonna say whatever, you, like, you know, if you're gonna say whatever you want to me, then I'm just gonna, I'm just, gonna, I'm not even gonna care. Then I'm just gonna say whatever I want to you. Then and I'm just gonna, you know. But we've not, we've been talking to, like, dude, we've been in contact for a while now. So it, like, I don't even, like, we've talked so much shit and everything, and we, you know, like. It just pissed me off when it's like, you know, I'm sitting here trying to do a chant, you know, do my thing and it's, you know. Like you're supposed to be a friend and then you're just like, oh, it's trash. And it's like, <clears throat> it's like, whatever, you know, it's cool, but it's like, I don't know. And that, at that moment, I was just pissed off and I didn't want to hear it anymore. It really pisses me off, man, you know? And I didn't mean, you know, I didn't mean to say all those things I did either, you know, it's just like, what, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I beat Resident Evil Zero. That was pretty cool. Uh, it remastered. <laughs> I beat that. I beat fucking... I bought I bought some new games and I tried them out and I beat uh I'm probably gonna die. Well, hopefully you're really doing all right, man. You know I, you know I just whatever. Fucking yeah. I'm probably gonna die. This game's kind of hard to like. Oh man, I might return this. Fuck. I might have to return this fucking game, man. I just want to shoot some shit. That's all. That's all I want to do. I just. And there's other players out here. I don't know where the players are. This game, it looks good though. Like this visual, it's got some good visuals. Like. Yeah, I was playing, um, 
Yeah, we are billions. I beat that game. It's like a strategy zombie game. And uh, I just beat that game. It, it was pretty hard. I was actually thinking about uh, going in. I don't think this is going to matter. I don't know what this is. Yeah, man, I don't know. I was, I, whenever I seen that you were saying that and I'm like, oh, like, I kind of knew, like, I was like, oh, he's probably just, you know, he's just fucking with me. He's just drunk and shit or whatever, you know, or whatever the fuck. But I just got triggered and I was just like, man, you know what, man? I'm just so sick of like, I'm just done, man. I guess I need to just not, just don't even talk about it anymore, really. I mean, it's pretty much like, I think at this point I've known you so long. It's just like, well, whatever. Like, like it's all cool. God damn, dude. I'm going to get killed. Ah. Fuck you, bitch. What'd you get? Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. I want to be. I I think part of it's me too, you know. Like I have problems and shit. Like I can't. You know, you go watch some other people's streams and shit, and there's people saying shit like that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like there's people. They say everything. They they call you trash. They call you whatever the fuck, you know, like anything. They'll say whatever, you know. I had this guy, you know. I quit reading the comments on TikTok, though. Those people, some of those people on there are just like, man, I'm just not even going to read this shit anymore. So I kind of pretty much was like, because I can get kind of bad on, on Twitter and I can kind of be trollish and. I can kind of joke around, you know, but it's like, well, you know, it's like, well, fuck, man. I need to just not do this at all to people. Don't do it, man. But it's like, you know, when you're saying a joke, and I think that it's all me, too. It's like a mental illness, man. Because it's like, it's like, what, what is going through your head? Because you're like, I don't know. You, I'm making a big deal out of it. It's like, it's like I'm making a big deal out of something. And it's like, dude, just... Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's just kind of like you're, you're a grown man. I'm a grown man. We just whatever. I don't know, man. Cool. It's cool. Gotta admit, though, I was reading. Oh, uh, there's a lot of stories out there. I think I'm gonna die. Um, I mean, gas lamp. What? Ooh, am I bleeding? Does that mean I'm bleeding? There's a story of this this fucking artist who he's a really good artist. I can't remember his name, but he uh, I can't, I can't use this. So he, he he does whore paintings and he fucking like this girl who's like asking him for money and shit. She's like a, she's like a drug addict. It, uh, he denied her money. He just ends up stabbed like you know they're supposed to be together. Or something. He just ends up stabbing him to death and that's how he died. Which is ironic because he you know he he's this whore painter you know, and then he gets stabbed to death. Almost like. Weird. Yeah, you know, I know that you've been, I know that you've been under like, everyone's been under like a really intense amount of stress and shit. And it's really not that big of a deal. I just, 
I was kind of just more or less seeing like if you would do anything or whatever and you know maybe eventually try to talk to you if you want you know because you know oh I was kicked off the game Oh, I think they could hear me in the game, bro. <laughs> I think. Oh. Wait. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on. I think I'm in a. I think they might have heard me in the game. So I don't know. Woo. could have been uh so i bought this other game rust right this game rust and it, it's just fucking up like i can't stream it, it it's just all laggy and shit <sighs> yeah but everyone's been under a big amount of stress so but i realized that i tend to make big deals out of things and i really i don't know man Sometimes things can be a big deal and other times it's like You're being you know legit about what's going on. So Yeah, it's just like a survival game And it's so like I don't know It's it's just like it's a it got really popular it's kind of got some issues with it but it's really fucking popular right now like it kind of exploded and i have no idea why but it's cool you can go build a base but i i couldn't get the stream settings right and and i was just playing it today i just bought these games today and i bought them literally right before i found out that there's a problem with my car so i have to not drive my car until tuesday go get it checked and it, it's pretty intense because i i have or you know i have no it's stressful i mean so i have no idea what's gonna happen it's gonna get i don't know if you can like build a base i don't think you can build a base I don't know if you can sleep. I don't think you can sleep. Can you sleep? I don't know. But yeah, Rust, you can build bases. It's it's kind of like this. The graphics are kind of shitty. And I'm playing the game. And I'm like, why is this game so... It's so... It's not streaming well. And so I don't know why it's not streaming well. Yeah, it was uh, my car. Um, so, okay, well, I'll just tell you the story then. Uh, so, my car's uh, heater stopped working. The heater stopped working, but the defrost would work. So, the defrost was working. And last week, I was driving my car, and, the, the, you know, just the defrost was working. And I'm like, okay. So, I kind of, I talked to some, so here's the thing. I talked to some people, and they, they referred me to someone. <laughs> And then I talked and said, it's a hundred dollar diagnosis, right? I think I, there's a lot of scam art. I think I got scammed when this guy replaced my thermostat, man. I think I got scammed. In fact, I'm probably getting scammed playing this, buying this game to fucking return it. Turn this game. But no, uh, they're trying to charge, uh, They're trying to charge 
hundred dollars to diagnose my car. And I so then I go and I call uh this other place, Bargain Barn, and they say that they'll fucking diagnose it for free. This flashlight's not working. I need a battery. Well, they, they want to die. So the place that told me they can diagnose it. I'm never going to again, man, because they, they were, they referred me to a person too. That was that I think ripped me off the part that I'm not going to explain the whole thing, but so I go, so I make another appointment and they say they'll diagnose it for free at a different place. Bargain barn. Which they have a better reputation too. So now I'm like over here like, okay. You know, you kind of have to check around. You kind of have to make sure that, you know, when you're getting mechanical service, like you need to get a place where it has good reviews online and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> some of them are sketchy. Some of them will try to lure you in with lower prices. And then they'll just, I don't know, man. It's sketchy as fuck. So basically I just, I... I just set the appointment and it's right down the road. So hopefully I can drive there. But I spent a bunch of money on things that I shouldn't have. And now it's like, well, fuck, I might need that money. But I still have some money left. But I don't know if it's enough. So that's why I'm like kind of trip. Like <clears throat> I'm kind of like just trying to hang out for a couple days and I don't know if my car it should make it there like I was having to pull over because it was getting close to being completely overheated and hopefully I didn't do any damage to my engine I really hope I fucking didn't because I, I was late I was like looking at the meter and letting it get so I wonder I think as long as it's not like you're running it on complete red maxed out heat then it should be fine you know because i was having to pull over and let it cool down pull over and let it cool down so <clears throat> i checked it the other day and it's kind of confusing it's kind of well it's kind of confusing because um oh you oh my god a gun did i grab that there's two zombies in here. Shit. I'm stuck. Should I get that gun? Um. Second gun I found in this game. Uh, yeah, I checked so I should be good on antifreeze uh, In the little cap I, I can see antifreeze and should be fine uh, Alternatively Close the door bitch Fuck Fuck out. It keeps on going into throw mode. I'm trying to get in a building so I can shut the fucking door. Yeah, but the antifreeze was fine. Um, I think. I basically don't really know shit about checking it. But I, uh. The guy said that, uh. How can I use this? Oh, what the fuck?
Yeah. Uh, yeah, but dude, I can't tell if... See, the thing is... Well, when you twist off the cap, and you know the cap that they say, oh, don't, don't twist it off while it's... Um... While it's hot, right? Because it will explode on you. I... Look, when you look in there, there's antifreeze in there. Um... Yeah, but in in so in the tank, you know where you see the tank where it says build to this point, right? I I can't see where the fill is there, so like I can't see the fluid in there. So I don't know. Then you get the fuck out of here. Yeah, they're chasing me. Yeah, in in there, I can't see the fluid in there. So does that mean it's low? Because it's in the the guy said it. The guy he said as long as you can see it in the cap, in, in you know, in the head gas whatever, then you're good. That's what he said. But I don't. I can't see anything in the tank. See, the radio guy. Yeah. Dude, every time I go to bed, I like I, I use this heater and it feels like I get up, I have like shortness of breath and I have some really bad taste in my mouth. I don't know. It seems to happen. Maybe there's something wrong with me, man. I fucking... I thought it was because it's my sheets. Like if you don't wash your sheets, you can like breathe in the fucking air and it's like really nasty. But it was as soon as I wash my sheets and I'm good. I can't pause this. Fuck. What the fuck? I can't move. And I got this useless rifle out. I can't do anything with it. And I'm gonna die of dehydration now. Watch well, that. I'm saying hey, maybe I should just throw some in there, but I can't see where the fill mark is, man. So. I'm gonna die. Whatever. I just restart. I'm just gonna restart. I don't. Oh, I can't. I can't. Okay. Servers must be different. Oh, it might be from yelling. My my fucking throat feels a little sore. It might be from yelling because I made some videos and I was yelling in them. Oh shit. Maybe that's it. I, was, I heard before Chris Farley died, he fucking, <sighs> he, his voice was like strained. And he'd do all that yelling. They're killing me in my sleep. That's funny. Game's kind of cool. Chris Farley. Yeah. Yeah, I watched uh, Beverly Hills Ninja. My brother did too. My brother watched it on like, I was, watch I was talking to my brother. We fucking watched it on like the same day. Did you notice my channel, dude? I got like thousands of fucking views on my videos on YouTube, and I got almost seven hundred subscribers now. I become uh, uh hashtag shorts. If you upload a minute video, a minute or less, and you do hashtag shorts, uh, in the description, so you upload it from your phone, then it will it will get. It, it will get into a different category of videos, short videos. It's YouTube trying to compete with 
Well, it's YouTube trying to compete with uh, TikTok. Yeah, I don't. I'm kind of confused, man. I'm kind of on the fence. I don't really know what's going on. Cause I, I, I don't know, man. I don't really know what to think about it, man. But I do feel like I am doing acting stuff that not a lot of people can do, or it takes like a lot of inspiration or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It just says you are dead. What? With TikTok? <clears throat> no, I got I got two vid I have two videos with eight thousand views now on YouTube. But the the likes were kind of split. I mean, one had like more likes than dislikes, and then one had more dislikes, but there it was still like kind of even. So yeah, yeah, I had to I had to invest. Oh. I went and invested in some stuff. 8,000? No, it's 8,000. Two of them got 8,000. My my channel got like over 100,000 views, man. But they a lot of people I think have been clicking out, but I think yeah, two of my videos, and then uh, one. There's a bl dude. Oh, I got over a hundred thousand. Yeah, I got over a hundred thousand views on my channel, dude. In like the past month. I kind of like this game. It's kind of cool, but I just want to like kill some stuff, and I don't know how you're supposed to find players on this shit. Yeah, it's cool, man. I don't really know what to think about it, honestly. I, You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, well, you could, you know, you're putting in, you know, you're trying. For, I'm trying for a reason, dude. I'm not trying to just, like, I'm doing it pretty much professionally. I mean, I could be doing, the way I'm doing it is in, like, a fashion to where it's, I'm not putting like I'm maximizing the quality, but I'm minimizing the time and the thought by just being Just improvising shit on the spot so But I but I, that's not all I have been writing stuff too. some of my stuff is written But not rehearsed really just Yeah it's cool. See, I wasn't up. I wasn't uploading. I had to find a house. I wasn't uploading to. I wasn't uploading uh, hashtag shorts, and I don't think a lot of people know that you can hashtag shorts. Hashtag shorts in the description. But you have to get a thousand subscribers to monetize your channel. So I don't know if I should do it. Because I could wait and see if I get more and it might not matter. You know if I'm not dude What I realize is if I don't get like a significant amount of people supporting me It's not gonna be really worth it to do it But another scary thing is it, I feel like I can do it But it's if I want to do it You know Like I almost feel like it's easy now like I could do it. I, I'm looking for I'm looking for something here. I'm looking for a house to loot or something. I kind of like this game, but it's kind of boring. Yeah, dude, I got rid of, I don't know how many books, but I got rid of, like, a lot of free copies. Like, this, 
2020 was a year I spiked. Like, I got rid of, like, a lot. I don't even I don't even know how long you've been gone for, dude, or how long we since we talked. But I wrote a I wrote a I wrote a couple Christmas books. Um, I put those on for Christmas. So you basically just cover these niches, dude. That's what you do with publishing books. And dude, you know what I realized? You can go get a bunch of free books on Amazon, dude. And they might not be like the best books because all the best books are like charged. But if you go type in like free politics book, there's a bunch of free shit. So now I'm using that to learn. Politics is kind of hard without reading an opinion for me. Like I have to read like someone's com like modern because whenever you read it in like a, a textbook format, it's like. It explains everything, but it doesn't really like, I don't know. It's more like a historical sit-in or something. Like, I don't know. It, like, it feels more like tangible to, to me. To, I don't know. I've been trying, but I got a bunch of free books, like cooking books. I realized it. it hit me. I'm like, okay, so I'm offering free books. And the thing about it, what the fuck? Hey, that's what I might need for my fucking car in real life. Yeah, dude, dude, there's like a bunch of free shit. Like a lot of books might not get popular, but they're still good. You know, they still have value and shit. And sometimes they're saying like very similar things to people that are popular. And there's so many. See, here's the thing. There's so many books that you could just go type in free book and it's like. On any, even fiction, bro. Even fiction. So you're not going to get like your top notch books, right? But it's obviously Kindle books. So it's not like, oh yeah, I'm going to go there and find Harry Potter or Flight Club for free or some shit. Whatever. But... But yeah, I, I got a bunch of free horror books. I got rid of like probably like a couple thousand. I got rid of like 200 in, in October, 150 in December, free books. But yeah, like I said, so I published, I published two Christmas books. I published another poetry book. Um, then I published, well, I pu published no, 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 uh, nightmares for Halloween. And then I published, um, oh, Hollywood highway. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool uh, book and I kind of got the covers looking pretty pr like I think I could do better on the covers, but for an independent they're not bad like they look better than the ones I did before Dude dude man Like dude, I'm telling you man. I wrote a book in like two fucking days, dude God the cold it was two days, dude. I wrote that book in two days. It's like a hundred pages. I just drank coffee and that's all I did. I just wrote that book. But it was something that I needed to get out. I needed to speak on it. My throat's getting a little bit raspy. I'm gonna die, bro. That's why people don't like this game. Uh, I should quit playing and return it.
I got a half an hour left. I don't know how you're supposed to warm yourself up, man. After playing this, I might just go play that bo uh, Borderlands. I just got Borderlands. This is 20 bucks, and I just wanted to play through it. I just want to play through it. It's a cool single player game. Fucking hey, let me in here. Fucking door. Oh shit, are they gonna get in? Fuck you, man. Fuck. Fuck me. Uh, forever ago. Yeah, forever ago. That didn't fucking help me. even I, I i wouldn't really be too much into playing through again i'm gonna die i can't move Jesus fuck What's in this? I just don't understand like how I'm supposed to get warm Certain things about this game that I just don't understand I don't think you can start fires to get warm oh shit i'm over encumbered or something no i'm just desperately hungry or something yeah i know it it's because it just sells bro that's why they they will not they if it's still selling they don't care They'll just keep on fucking selling it. They don't give a fuck. And you know, that's, that's the fucked up part about it too. It's like, how is that like caring? How is that? Cause that's, well, now it's Microsoft. Now that, now they belong to Microsoft now. So it's like, how is that caring about the community, man? Like, how is that caring? That's just, Corporate bullshit, bro. That's all it is. Like, dude, this game has been out. So, you know what I'm saying? And the well, the reason I'm not even gonna say that, but it's like, or you know, it's like this game's been out for so fucking long. Like, dude, I remember looking at that game like years after it came out, right? And I was just like, I was like, what the fuck, dude? 
Like, I wasn't even blown away. Like, it was like fucking five years after, and I seen it for 60 bucks. Even Grand Theft Auto 5. Seeing Grand Theft Auto 5 for 60 bucks, like, dude, why? And, you know, I don't even know. I even, like, sent out some shit about this on Twitter. It's like, why are people still playing Grand Theft Auto 5, man? It's the same fucking map, dude. And it's because they're role-playing it. Like, the role-playing on Grand Theft Auto 5 has become so fucking huge. They don't even need to make another fucking game, man. Because it's not even about the map. It's not about it. It's just what you can do with the mods in Grand Theft Auto 5. That's all it is. And if I got into it, I could probably do pretty good. But I would need to get some people watching me and shit. Because then that's just acting and shit. But you have to, like... Get a knack. Like, there's a reason why people do it. Like, it's it's fun. You have to be able to see it. Like, you have to be able to do it. Like, I don't know. It's basically acting. That's what it's turned into. They just use it for acting. Uh, you go watch that. <sighs> yeah, dude. If you go watch that shit, it's... It's that's all it is. It's just it's just like acting and shit. So I wonder when a shirt gets worn. Well, it is nighttime, so I don't know, man. I got like twenty minutes to fucking return. I think it's fine. I think I'm gonna play this game a little bit. It's a little bit like slow paced and boring. I'd probably have to go look up some tutorials. It's, it kind of almost reminds me of Tarkov. Maybe I should just quit playing now. I don't know, man. Fuck. I got 20 minutes. If I play past 20 minutes, done. Fuck is this? Huh. I don't know about this, uh... How come I can just eat it right here? I don't really like how I can't just, like, eat it. Right here. You gotta drag it down here. Tarkov? No, Tarkov. Yeah, Tarkov. I got this fucking thing in my hand. I don't even know what the fuck, man. Oh, I don't even need to eat this. That doesn't even really look like it does anything, man. It takes so long to eat it. Tarkov, Tarkov. Tarkov's a good game. It really is. Yeah, I don't know about this game, man. I think I'm going to try out. I'm going to turn on Borderlands real quick. Um... Oh, the stream won't stop though, but I'm just, I'm going to call it for this for now, because I, if I go past two hours, I won't be able to get a refund. So I have to think about it. And to be honest, I'm probably not going to, I don't think I'm going to play it that much. So I think that that game is done. Yeah, I almost played two hours. And I played Rust for over two hours. I didn't mean to, but I own it now. Oh, it's got the scum game. I didn't download it, though, yet. I can't download it. Oh, yeah, you are gone for all that shit. I don't even know how long I haven't talked to you. I, would pl I played a bunch of different games. Oh, I got the forest, too. I forgot. I got 
the forest. I got Escapist two. I got uh I got Resident Evil one, uh, Resident Evil zero two remake. I played the two remake and the three remake remake by the way, and I played through Resident Evil seven, which I think it's ten bucks right now actually, bro. I don't know if you played it. It's really weird. It's weird. Did you have anything to do with Resident Evil 7? I don't think you even... I think it's 10 bucks. It was on sale for 10 bucks. It's cool. Oh, you played it? Did you play it when it right when it came out? Did you... I'm gonna get Resident Evil Village. Oh... Uh, I finished it. It's kind of long. It's longer than I thought. Oh. Yeah. This game is only 20 bucks right now, so. It's on sale for 20 bucks, Borderlands, so I'm just going to play through it. I bought it for 30 and I returned it. But now looking back, I'm like, man, there's not really any good, like, games I can just play through. So it's going to have, I'm going to, so I'm like, well, I'll just fucking play through it. I might return Daisy, man. I don't know. It kind of seems kind of sketchy. Some of those games are like patient. Has a lot to do with patience, and they have different things that they focus on. <laughs> But dude, that I, just playing it, that the action is terrible. Like the zombies fucking are like coming through the wall and shit. It's like <clears throat> like it's it's it looks good. I think if you could start fires, if they could destroy the, if, if there were more weapons. Yeah, I might return. I think I'm gonna return that game. Hopefully, I can get some playtime out of Rust. Fuck, man. Am 
I have Amos this time? I don't know if there's aim assist on this. Hey, you're not like you're not acting like you did in the videos. Act like you were in the videos, man. You're not bringing the same amount of energy. I guess I wasn't a good Go on bitch Watch it I don't even know what I'm doing what the fuck, man? I kind of didn't want to play this game really Got I guess I'm playing it though Do some work drone Where's my guns at? Got a good turn off these fucking characters so much i fucking hate these characters i just don't i mean that's pretty terrible it's insulting if the if the person that's voice acting this shit seen us they'd probably cry but i just can't i'm just so much better of an actor than them i just cannot stand their acting Nah, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe. Being cocky, being cocky. Just annoying, I just... Shut up. Let me fucking play this stupid fucking game. Twenty dollars. This fucking money in real life. Game's too easy. You're like, just play. Just play for a couple more minutes and then he he won't be able to return it. That's them. Just play, just play, just play for a couple more minutes. Play for a couple more minutes, man. Play for a couple more minutes. He's supposed to be my friend. He's supposed to be my friend, but he's calling me names. He's supposed to be my friend. <laughs> He's supposed to be my friend. Oh, uh, you think you're, you think you're fancy fans, huh? I'm boy. I'm boy, you wanna fuck around, boy? Fuck around, fuck around, boy. Fuck around, boy. You're dead, boy. You're dead, boy.
I hate this game. Who are these little tranny babies? What the fuck? Oh, fuck me, man.
Ah, man. Can I sell this? I don't know. Buy this game, come join. I think you can do multiplayer. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, what do you think? I mean, it's like... I know, it's like a fucking slow paced game, man. That's what it is, like... You have to loot, you have to find stuff, you have to kind of know what you're doing a little bit. And I don't know everything about the game, so... I think what... And pretty much every time I've watched it, there's... You know there's not a lot happening and you have to go find people like there's people in the fucking game it used to be more popular though but if I can get rust to work rust was fun I was playing that there's people fucking running around and shit it's kind of funny yeah <laughs> It's pretty fun actually. I was having fun playing it. But I need to be able to get it so I can stream. I have no idea why what was What did I do? Oh, I went into a new area, okay. Um I don't know where the spot is. I'm trying to get to the spot This game's pretty good though. It's just I I think I had to get into it Get myself into it It's got some nice action I'm moving to the side slightly. I don't know why.
That's how you reload it. Throw it and it respawns. Oh yeah, I have meds. They had it coming. This is just campaign. I gotta turn on this heater. cold it's been like minus it was minus 15 minus 10 like i i was actually surprised dude it feels like unusually like something feels kind of a little bit unusual I don't, i'm not really sure but it was it's minus 11 right now dude It's minus 11. I can't even believe I just said that, dude. It's supposed to be uh fucking warmer though. Like it's supposed to be minus eight around two a.m. What the fuck? I just don't know what to think. The weather this year, dude. Like the past week's been fucking weird, man. Like, it feels colder than usual, man. 
Almost like there's something going on that I don't know about. Like, it's kind of sketchy. Like, I don't know that... Like, I can't remember it getting this cold, dude. But another thing is, I've been taking a vitamin this year. So, that... My mind might be in a different spot than it was has been in other years. Like, I feel... I feel more focused. They got a bunch of cool guns in this game, though. It's a cool game. It's definitely got good action and shit. This little... They outline their stuff with black, like... They got really harsh outlines in the art in this game. Their style, there's... It's like... These black... Outlines all around everything. It's really... You don't notice it until you notice it. Until you want to notice it. Shoot you motherfucker. <clears throat> you ever watch uh, um, Kevin Hart or uh, fuck who else? Dave Chappelle. You ever watch any of that stand up comedy? Dude, some people I know they don't watch it. Like, they don't, they don't have an interest. I don't understand people, man. They're so disconnected. Oh, I didn't know you watched him. Fuck yeah. Look at it. I didn't know you watched him. Ooh, that looks good right there. Nice. Everyone watches him. I feel like if you don't, then you're just, I don't know. Right? I mean, <laughs> like, who the fuck? Why are you on this planet, man? What? what? Fucking what kind of? Hmm. Changing out guns. I don't know. Is this one better? Chappelle's grandma, grandmaster daddy. It's weird how... Oh. I'm liking this game. I'm liking what's going on, actually. I gotta turn the music off a lot of the time, though. On these games, I don't like the music. Really? I just bought one. I'm just gonna keep going. I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> That's cool, man.
Supposed to be my friend. Oh, he's immune to it. Oh, fancy that. I like this. Man, he's almost dead. Is he a shotgun? Oh, fuck me. Fucking prick. Oh, man. Get out of here. It's all level six crap. I just got level seven. I wish I would just blow up and make some money, but that's funny. Like when you think about being an entertainer and provincial, dude, you got to get a lot of man. You got to get a lot of fucking buzz to make some money, man. Like even just make a living, just make a living, just 30,000 a year, you know, which a lot of people would not be happy with 30,000 a year. But even just 30,000 a year. If I could just make 30,000 a year, man. Fucking A. I've been watching all these stand up comedians, man. Fucking hilarious. Just filling my fucking brain with all of these fucking jokes and shit. Just. I don't want to do stand up comedy, though. I don't want to. People have told me, hey, Seth, you should go do stand-up comedy, dude. I shit you not. It was a reoccurrence, too, because we're like, uh, I'll just sit there and make jokes. Just, I don't know what it is. I'll just sit there and make jokes. I don't know why. I just do. And people laugh. And then I'm like, hey. And they're like, what? Now, and they're like, hey. Go do some stand-up comedy and I'm like, no, I'm scared of I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fucking die up there on stage like I'm I'm petrified. I can't do it, man. Fuck I can do it, but I don't want to do it like I'll probably shake Where how do I get out of here? Ugh. Come on, man Fucking one little simple thing get the fuck out of the fucking level. I can't Can't get out of the level. Did you ever play through Resident Evil Zero, by the way? Because it was like... It, yeah, it really is its own thing, man. It's not... It's... See, stand-up is like that... Barrier. What I, what I found out. Stand-up's like a barrier of... Realness and relatability But you have to look at what it is right now, but if you compare that to act comedic acting is Completely fucking different because it takes the impressionism to the extreme and comedy is kind of littered with expressionism or uh, uh, Impressionism 
It was what I meant. It's not completely built on just, it's like technical jokes. Performed, though. I actually got a free book on performance, dude. I acting performance. This guy, I'm, I just kind of read some of it, but I got a lot of different books. They got Creative Commons college books that I got, so I can read those, but they're really fucking long. But they basically have like a breakdown of like biology, like everything. They got all of them because they're they're basically just offering freedom or uh, free, you know, free educational material. That's what they believe in, which is pretty fucking awesome. So I. I don't know how to get out of here. Find the big suck. This is really pissing me off. I'm about two seconds away from getting pissed off. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait. I like this gun. Wait, wait, okay, so this is leading to here? Yeah, I played it. It's <laughs> really interesting. I don't know how to get out of here, dude. a fly oh that makes sense well I was thinking if um They put me in a reboot of Beverly Hills Ninja and I was thinking about that concept and, and I felt like I insulted comedy because it's like you're going to do a movie that Chris Farley did and try to do your own thing and it's just like wow what, what a fucking cocky son of a bitch I am like what a, what a fucking insult like Oh, yeah, Seth. Yeah, right. And then I started thinking about it. And, and, you know, like, they wouldn't... Like, I'm pretty sure people wouldn't be on board. Like, dude, he passed away. Oh, thanks, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But I was just, I was just like, fiddling. Or, you know, if someone else did it. If they, if they just did... I don't think they would. But then I thought about that movie. Because I watched the movie, and I was thinking about the movie. And I'm like, man, this movie is... It, it, it's just such a different style like you just don't like Ace Ventura. You just don't see those movies anymore, man You don't see fucking you know, but you know I watched that Herbert Hall uh, what it her Herbie Halloween with Adam Sandler on Netflix Which was actually pretty good. It was basically like a mixture of his characters into one character And almost like you could tell it was improvised. It was good but 
I don't know. It was kind of predictable. It was kind of like Mama's boy with Zohan. Mama's boy with a little with a little bit of Zohan. That's pretty much what it was, like Mama's boy and Zohan putting them together. Something like that, I don't know. Fucking Adam Sandler. Halloween movie. Sandler. My God, he must be cheating. He's not cheating. I wonder if anybody will even give me a chance in a big movie though. If I ever got a chance at a big movie If I ever got the chance at a big movie, I wonder if I wonder if they would even because they're gonna go look at my Twitter account I don't think any big corporate enterprises would ever make have me act in their movie man I don't think they would But I could see like a new guy that's trying to get his name out there and he's trying to make a film to take me on like a director but I I would probably be comfortable on a on a movie set But stand-up comedy. I don't want to do stand-up. I don't want to do anything where I perform because I remember that Video of Dimebag Daryl getting shot and then that one pop star bitch. She didn't even have I didn't mean to say bitch, but you know, you know like hey, respect for the dead, but she's like She doesn't even have metal detector. I can't even remember her name But she was a you know, she got killed by some crazy ass fucking Fucking stalker, dude. At a fucking at a autograph signing, fan signing. Fucking, they didn't even have metal detector. That just shows like how ignorant some people are, dude. Like, I don't know, man. Like, you want to be casual, you can be casual, but you don't have metal detectors. What? Like, it's pop. It's not rap, even though. Rap can be pop, but you know, it's just, it's it's not hip-hop really. It's just Gay gay little feminine little emotional singing Shit those songs whatever you call them Gay songs. I mean, I don't call it gay. Okay sensitive songs emotional. I don't know what the fuck Like oh Believe in yourself pop bullshit Motherfucker I do this shit like Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes, man. Watching that. That movie's actually pretty fucking good. The Demolition Man. Watching that Demolition Man. It was fucking. Like. Wesley Snipes and Demolition Man is fucking nuts, dude. He's so fucking good in that fucking movie, man. He's so crazy. That's gotta be one of the best, like, psychotic performances ever, dude. I swear to fucking God. It wasn't just psychotic. It was, like, happy psychotic. Fuck you, motherfucker.
Let me in. Dude, you need a good you need a guy with a good body for Duke Nukem. But you could do a comedy. I mean, I, you know, I'm getting in shape though. I mean, I'm I'm kind of just a big person anyway. So I mean, I think the classic movie star body is sort of a you know mid range, you know, average height. Superior high cheekbones, not too broad. Depends. Action stars can be bigger, I guess. I don't fucking know. Like Steven Seagal being fat, you know, but he's still a star. But it's not comedy. But that's the thing about it, you know. Just no one really says, "Hey, man, this guy's fat." Hey. But he's a real cop, so we honor him. Say, hey, you can be fat and do this. I'll watch it, fat ass. That's fucked up. Can't call people fat, man. Not, we're not getting on this. I'm not getting on this. I'm not getting on this. Yeah, that's why I got this game though, is because I just want, I don't know where to go. I can't get in over here. Maybe right here. Summer Seth Kinstall is Duke Nukem. You wanna, you wanna kiss my ass, babe? Sure, Duke. Anything for you. You saved my life. Oh uh, yeah, bitch. A dent, a dent, a dent, a dent, a dent, a dent. Hey, that's not Duke Nukem music. That's Doom. Well, Duke Nukem was essentially a ripoff of Doom, a modern innovation, where they tried to characterize because the guy in Doom wasn't very characteristic. He was just there, but he had the face. He is a silent type. Until they gave him a voice, I shouldn't yell. Until they gave him a voice in the Doom Eternal and then it fucking ruined it. Because then he's the fucking Master Chief at that point, you fucking bitch. He's supposed to be silent. That's his character. He doesn't talk. Because he's tough. Fucking bitch. Oh, mongrels.
He won't get away. Yeah, dude. They should do it. Why why was there never a Duke Nukem movie? There should be. But Duke Nukem's pretty much dead. I mean, I, I'm sure that they, like, I don't know how that works because, you know, Duke Nukem as a franchise is probably, like, it's not very easy to try to popularize Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. Yeah, I know, but the last one, I played it, and, it, you know, like, there's a long, big gap there between the games. You know, the new Halo was supposed to come out fucking December, and it never did. Biggest disappointment, but I'll be back in a second. <clears throat> Potato salad and Ritz crackers, man. It's pretty good.
Oh, hey, uh, bye. The Doctor Disrespect book. Coming out, uh, March 30th. <laughs> it looks funny. I feel ashamed. Can't believe I, I like that guy that much that I'm buying his fucking book. I'm such a fan, I'm buying the fucker's book. No, they didn't. No, nope, nothing. I was streaming on Twitch again for a little while, but... I don't know. I do kind of have some political, like... They've developed quite the reputation. I, my voice is really raspy, man. I, I feel like I don't really. <clears throat> like I'm gonna get, I'm getting a sore throat from like all the acting I did and talking now. can't even stop a person like that for that guy to be destroyed he would have to like be a pet turn out to be a pedophile or something it's like Tupac, you know, he kills a cop. No one even really, it's almost like you just kind of look right past that, you know? But, you know, there's such, he killed the cop for a reason. Police brutality. So, I don't know. I, I guess maybe if you, when you want to talk about Tupac killing a cop, it's like, like he did what he had to do, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> you didn't watch the Tupac movie. Yeah, he did. <clears throat> Anyone who knows the story knows that. Dude, they had the movie. I watched it twice. It was so good. It's, um... All eyes on me.
He got he only got like two years in prison for it I'm gonna die motherfucker Yeah, that all eyes on me movie is really good, man. That's like some. That's like some hardcore G shit, man. The Biggie movie is pretty good, too. Yeah, all eyes on me is really good. All right, have, did you see um Straight out of Compton? <clears throat> that movie was really Oh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of older though at now It's still good It's still good Oh, dude, that movie's fucking like you watch that. <clears throat> I mean, I kind of wasn't really exposed to NWA and a lot of the culture until I, you know, like I started watching these movies and reading up on it. <clears throat> but before I wasn't too aware of it, but then I realized what was actually going on. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I'm white. I'm confused. Um, Oh, there it is. <clears throat> you walk up in the hood and you say, and they ask you, you ever see the, the Tupac movie? They probably look at you like, and you said, no, they probably look at you like, who the fuck is this motherfucker? Come up in here. You haven't seen the Tupac movie and shit. Calling people trash. Uh, ignorant ass white boy. Okay, I probably shouldn't do that. They're kind of getting pissed off because like some people were getting pissed off because a white person was playing a black character in a fucking. Well, obviously Robert Downey Jr. Fucking going full retard, but it was a cartoon. Oh, son of a bitch. They're stealing my shit.
bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> Can you imagine what people would? If I was in some big movie, dude, can you imagine that shit? I don't think I would though, man. Man, they got those motherfuckers on, dude. There's so many motherfuckers on YouTube that are so big. And they never do like these fucking Hollywood movies or nothing. They don't even bother. Because Hollywood is a fabrication of the past. It's still big. But... A percentage of that entertainment has been taken over by gaming <clears throat> and the internet. But I guess Hollywood is just a place where they make movies. The network. I should probably shut up. Man, my voice is really like raw right now. Dude, I wrote this book. Hollywood Highway It's pretty crazy Like I don't like it, you know It pretty much got overlooked like a lot of my stuff is getting overlooked because Because I'm just not popular but yeah, trash is trash. It's trash is trash. Original is trash. <laughs> that's, that's what you do now. It's trash is trash. Trash is trash. That guy trash. That's trash. Hey, this guy trash. This guy trash. Look at him. He trash. He trash. Oh, collect it. Hey, collect it. Hey, collect it. I can get down on some World of Warcraft shit, man. Fuck this shit. Should. I should get down on some World of Warcraft. What the fuck? I should. I just hate spending $10 a month for that shit. Little punk ass little bitch right here. I'll tell you what, boy. Bunk ass little bitch. Bunk ass little bitch, motherfucker. You know, that motherfucker. It's so based. What's so based? I'm kind of stuck in anticipation right now on a lot of different levels, man. My car, my YouTube channel. I just don't think a lot of people have the time to watch every little thing a post person puts online, you know? So even if they subscribe, you got to convince them to click. Gotta give them a reason, man. Do some Ace Ventura shit. I watched Ace Ventura. That shit was on Netflix. It's not anymore. And then I watched um, Big Daddy. So I rewatched all these movies and it was a completely different experience. I do like that DZ, DZ game. I like it. But I need to figure it out. But there's some things about it that are really like a letdown. Good visuals. It has good visuals. Uh, you can't sleep. A lot of things. <laughs> there's a lot of things with it. Convince to click. You know what I found out? I think rhyming comedy and rhyming a 
Okay, so I I watched the guy uh, Andrew Schultz on Netflix. And my mind just got disintegrated by his jokes. Now, obviously, it was all rehearsed, and he's popular, and he's been doing it a long time. But it's a new, it's like a New York style of comedy, and I don't know. It's weird because you listen to it and you're like, "Oh my god, this guy, man, this New York shit is like disconnected, man." Like it's. Or at least that guy, he's like connected to everything. It's like, what the fuck am I watching, man? Like, there were so many jokes, you can't even. You can't remember them all. It's like, it's like the guy's like teaching you. Like, teaching you, and, and, and. You're like, oh. This is what This is how I should think Convince to click Con chaotic conventional chaotic conventional consensual conceptual If he keeps it up, he'll get a house. He gets a house. Douse his house in barbecue sauce. And step on that mouse, boss. Douse his house in barbecue sauce. Douse that mouse and barbecue sauce and throw it on the grill there. Jimmy Jimmy. I want to do a parody of that. Thomas the train. Thomas the train. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Thomas the train, man. Uh. Thomas. Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> Tim the Tool Man motherfucking Taylor. Bitch. He's supporting me. Oh my god, I got something in my eye. Improvision. Ugh, I gotta go rinse my eye. Ha <laughs> 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 
We can't stop this train. There's a bomb on board. Oh no! Who put a bomb on me? Calm down, Thomas. Can I call you Tom? Oh yes! <laughs> oh yes! Tell me that Timmy Tom Taylor. The train. The train. Tom the train. Tom's gonna train you. Tom's gonna train you at your new restaurant job with a fucking corn cob. Rip. Every time someone says rip, I think they're ripping ass. So I join in and I f and I and I participate in the fart spree. Dab is Bowie Clipper. Dash and Bowie Clipper. Epic. Pretty good gun. Yep. Gotta make it till Tuesday there, brother. Oh, cactus fruit. Yeah, I get beat by my father. Here's the bruise day. Tuesday bruise day. Uh. Tuesday bruise day. That's actually pretty good if you do uh, like bruise like beer, like a special, like happy hour, you know? Tuesday bruise day. <laughs> and then they go home and they beat their wife. Bruise day. <laughs> You get a discount on your fucking brew and then you go home and you give your wife a bruise. That's not funny. Pick up cactus fruit. My profile picture is here, and it's the wolf. I'm Wine Wolf. I'm Wine Wolf on this game. Huh. I'm Wine Wolf. <laughs> wow, this was back from the Wine Wolf days when I bought this game. Wife beating discount at the cop shop. Yeah, rip. One wolf, one. Hmm.
Bro, my voice is getting kind of bad though. I kind of got a sore throat. That's troll text.
One ass fuck to, to rule your mom. Jesus. Okay, that, that was an example of me going too far. Raping funny, Seth. What the fuck? Get a little tip squeak. I like this gun. Well, there were some other people hanging out uh, with me on stream. But I've been doing other things. I've been basically watching Netflix and writing, dude. I So today I came back and streamed. But I've been in a routine every day. I, I got 60 pages on two poetry books. So 60 pages for each of them <clears throat> and then I got 25 pages for my next horror short story book what they're, they're I don't even know if you call them stories but they're creations but um, and then I got two other books oh wait no is that three three as the world slips away consumer comedy su comedy consumer collection and uh what was the third one i can't remember now fuck
Advice for an indu industrialist. Yeah. I have to read more to the to, to write more. I'm kind of an idiot. I don't know shit, dude. I kind of realize how dumb I am, which is a good thing, but I am politically just There's a lot of areas So I'm trying to make a daily effort. That's actually why I was gonna quit streaming cuz I'm I don't want to stream all I, I guess I don't even know what time it is, but I <clears throat> I should probably do other things though. I'm kind of tired Pretty stressed out Maybe I shouldn't stress too bad You can actually live pretty well I think without a car actually I mean I think if I didn't have a car because you can deliver your groceries now Right now you can get your groceries delivered to your house for free so Yeah, you don't even have to go in the store I I've been getting the them at pickup Dude, but for real like I mean, I don't know man like there's sometimes I got to use my car, you know Fucking I missed my truck That was a classic truck dude that truck is a That truck was a fucking one of a kind or you know it's 93 Dodge It's got that unique That truck you can pimp that truck out That do you remember my truck dude you can you can pimp that out you can pimp it out man Totally This week on pe Pimp My Penis Seth gets his shaft lit As he gets his penis pimped By a By a $50,000 hooker That's right We're buying Seth's penis a hooker In this week's episode of Pimp My Penis White edition He's gonna pimp his penis Oh yeah He's gonna pimp his penis Oh yeah He's gonna pimp his penis Oh yeah He's gonna pimp his motherfucking penis He's gonna pimp his motherfucking penis Oh Oh Pimp the penis. Yeah. He's
That's it. Fucking Halo, just release you fucking bitch. Just release it. I, I told them I called it the Master Queef collection or I called the Master Chief the Master Queef on Twitter that's probably why they're like oh no we're delaying it now this guy's a fucking asshole I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happened <laughs> I think they pretty much came to I, I don't know man it's like with Doom Eternal, you know, they find some bug or whatever and have to postpone it. Probably the pandemic, actually. Should be nice to them. I can see him getting all mad. This guy just called the master chief the master queef. We're not going to re fucking release this now. Actually, uh, there's this book that I got for free. It's about writing books that sell It's basically about finding books that you can That you that you can enjoy researching the topic And enjoy writing about but it's a book that it has to fall into a genre and that's kind of where I've been leaning towards man is Fuck being an artist and everything Because I've already done it I've already been an artist as a writer and everything else. It's like dude And, I, and I'll never stop being an artist, but I need to think I Need to do things right like I need to fucking just I just want to make money. I don't give a fuck I don't give a shit anymore, man. I don't give a fuck like I give a fuck, but I don't it's a paradox. It's like Get some fucking money 
Hey. We get paid, motherfucker. We get paid. I get paid, motherfucker, man. We get paid, motherfucker, motherfucker. Get paid, bitch. What, bitch? Get paid, motherfucker. Get paid. Paid, motherfucker. This motherfucker ain't getting paid. Look at him. Motherfucker dead. Look at this bitch ass motherfucker. He ain't got paid. Bitch. He ain't got paid. Who you up, nigga, motherfucker? You ain't getting paid. You ain't getting paid here, boy. Get down, boy. Look at this ass. He ain't getting paid. Ain't getting paid. What, bitch? Ain't getting paid. Hey, bitch. I'm fucking getting paid. I'm fucking. That's gag spine that boy. I'm gonna motherfucking pay. I'm fucking pay. I'm gonna fuck about that, boy. That motherfucker shit out, bitch. You laughing out, bitch. Motherfucking getting pay. Fuck you, slut. Suck my nut. Oh. Yo, happy birthday, bitch. Fuck getting paid. Want the crap up in here, bitch. Eh? Eh? Motherfucking getting paid. Oh, that's sick. I like it. Oh, 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 fucking pipe. Are you graduating uh, your four years? By the way, that you are, huh? This is your fourth year, right? Or is your third year? It's your fourth year, right? Yeah, like it's your fourth year. Like you get uh, your bachelor's. That's just that's crazy, man. You're gonna graduate, and I'm gonna graduate and be a fucking superstar. Blow up, and I'm gonna get paid. Well, if you think about it, I mean, all the time I put in, you know, all my time I put in, I should be getting paid at some point. I think that if I did it, like, if I did things right and I did it, you know, and I kept on it and I, there's a lot of things I could do. I honestly think someone could take me on a movie right now and I could probably do well. But it would have to be the right director, I think. Sounds crazy. A lot of people would probably think I'm nuts, but I'm not. But you know, there, there's a lot of people out there, man. Cause you get all oh, self, like I get really like self-centered shit, dude. There, there's so many people doing shit. So I don't know, man. Oh, you are you are working on a book. What? Do you can you tell me anything, or do you want to tell me anything, or? I'm curious what you're doing. Oh, is it fiction or non-fiction? Is it like a story? I bet you it'll be... I hate to say it, but it might be... If you write a book, it might be better than a lot of the stuff I made. I don't really know, man. I don't really know how you... Because you've studied it, so...
So, I mean, if your mind's all geared towards, you know, your mind might be geared a lot differently than my, well, it is geared a lot differently than mine. You being in school and me being just, you know, it is kind of like opposite ends of the, the writing, you know. Huh. Do you mean they get they destroy the gates to hell? Seems like if they can't go to hell, then they would end up back on Earth as monsters because they're. I gotta admit, it kind of sounds. I don't want to say it like sounds like my book. But it's definitely like similar stuff because I have an angel in my book too. <laughs> and she communicates with them and then remember my book, Ava and the Demon Slayer? <laughs> That's kind of similar to my book, man. You ripping me off? No, it's 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 actually quite different. <sighs> yeah, you you can. I'm down. I was watching this girl talk about writing and she's she's a she's a, um, a bestseller writer. She has a book series. I forgot her name. She's on YouTube, but she's talking about how no one cares about your book like she was getting into some very complex things with writing like like just very complicated things that you would have to be an experienced writer to know like story basically like story plots staying boring um you know a lot of different things, but she was actually going into things that I couldn't even like comprehend and uh, It's weird There's a huge community of readers out there, man And a lot of them aren't stupid Because I like to think for a long time like, you know, there was a lot of Points in my life where I thought people were just dumb, but it's just there are dumb people, but there's a lot of smart people. I was alright. <laughs> but yeah. She's basically saying, like, you can get someone to care about your book, but no one cares about your. Like, I don't know. Basically, she's just like the harsh. What am I supposed to do here? Basically, so she's just like, I don't know, like no one cares about your fucking book. They don't care about the mistakes you're going to make. They don't care, you know, and on and on and on, you know, like no one really cared about my, my shit. No, like none of my family, none of my friends cared. Like you, you can't expect them to care. Like. 
if you tried to get like if I try to get someone to read my shit You know Like Especially someone that doesn't read it's just like well Like they don't give a fuck. They're not interested in in writing. They're not you know a lot of them They're not interested in fucking poetry. They like they might like music, but Poetry is for a particular like to read poetry Is something that you might not even do regularly So some people just do it sometimes But like for me to be a poet No one cares No one cares man Okay. World building. Yeah. World building is if you're if you're saying like That's such a like It's not an easy thing Writing is Writing is pretty hard actually To run shit over Did you watch that Cecil Hotel? That's actually quite a good name considering For that type On Netflix that Cecil Hotel shit that Is pretty wild I need to fucking Oh Sounds sounds like you already plotted it out Or uh Storyboarded it I guess That's actually something that I kind of I basically had a beginning and end and I free wrote a lot of the different stuff, but I was struggling to to, to come up with like It wasn't that I was struggling with coming up with stuff But I was struggling with filling so many pages and Having things see dude cuz when it like when you have so many things happen in a book where you have to keep having things it's like when you watch a movie and 
it tries not to make itself weird. You know what I mean? You know what's funny is you came you came back on Valentine's Day like we're gay lovers. We must be meant to be, man. Must be meant. Just kidding. He came back. <laughs> Oliver came back on Valentine's Day. How gay is that? You would. You would. Just kidding. You would. Oh, really? How long ago did I quit talking to you? I don't even fucking remember. How? Jesus Christ, how long ago was that? Do you remember? I don't remember. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that was like... Damn, that was like three months. Holy shit. Doesn't really seem like that long ago. It seems like it was last week or something. I've just been so busy every day doing my thing, so... Probably why. Oh yeah, but whenever you make things happen Fucking A man, I'm gonna die Jesus Christ Oh yeah, so like you, you keep so you keep things happening in the book to make it interesting you know drama action conflict surprise you know element of mystery the element of surprise you know what i'm saying so you have a, i can't you know i know there's you can get it gets kind of it can get kind of like more technical and than that but Uh, I don't know. They're like those guys. They're like midgets. Damn, I'm getting pretty tired. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the main thing I, I struggled with dude in writing when I was like, okay, I'm going to write a full novel and it didn't turn out as long as I wanted it to. And I basically had to just be like, okay, I'm done with this is I was trying to find a balance of not making too much stuff happen. So it's not like the book is weird. But then you have to balance dialogue in uh, I think there's actual terms for it, but it's like the calm before the storm or like the intermissions um, You know, and then I think it's kind of a plot Or um, it's basically just story like um, How the story is swinging I guess But if you make too much like you read a book and it's like too much shit happens that's like it's obvious like that it was put in a story for it to be entertaining to the point to where it's like the book is just like obvious and i think that's the that's the big thing that's a big thing about with with stories but then you're so fucking predictable and It's complicated. It hurts my brain like to
but it seems like you have a good idea for the the things that you're doing in the book you how long are you planning to make the book like 300 pages like a novel it sounds pretty good dude that's what I was saying before is like, I bet you if you fucking, you put your mind out, you could be, you could probably write some really good shit, man. Cause I know you are like, you're really smart and you're talented. You just like, you can't really like as a right. I don't know, man, that's your own thing though. I mean, you know what's going on. Like if you're going to be an independent writer or if you're going to get jobs or you're going to try to score some articles and you know sell some articles or you know so oh shit yeah You know, looking back, it was pro it was probably better to pay for cover cover art. <sighs> but I don't know what to think, man. I think I'm a bad writer a lot of the time. I, I get caught in the middle of what I'm doing, and I just think, man, I'm terrible. I thought you I thought you uh, said sixty for a second. I was like, oh my god, sixty pages. 600 pages that's like like if you worked hard you could get it done in like three months that's working really hard if you want who knows you gotta start you gotta get that Stephen King routine it's what you gotta do I swear to god dude I've been in it I've been in it man the Stephen, I don't know why I'm calling it that. I guess because I read, um, you know, a memoir or writing. But it's kind of like that, man. I've been writing every day, dude. I can't, like, I wasn't able to do that every day. Before, I would just write when I wanted to write a book. But now I'm like, every day. I actually didn't write anything today, though. Because I was all stressed out and shit But I've been going for fucking many many weeks now strong I've been going strong man You can give me the spoiler I don't care Are the music and the voices silenced? I think they are. Because I turned them off and it, it silenced it in the cutscene, I think, too. You know what? We, okay, I'm not going to like try and give you suggestions, but what just popped in my mind was if he succeeded, right? So the end, he portrays him and they destroy heaven, right? Now, I don't know what your idea of heaven is or what you're doing. They destroy heaven and then that sets it up for a new book. So you're in kind of like, so you go into the second book and you're in like a wasteland or something. Well, you know what I'm saying? So, so, so that sets it up for a new book. And in the second book, it's like hell on earth. <laughs> no, nah. but seriously. Yeah. So it's like, so he has to, so I'm just a quick plot or a quick 
uh, someone was telling me actually plot the or I was watching a video on the difference of plot and story. It's like plot is a, the actual technical place or something, or the technical I don't know, <sighs> like person place. And stories like, I don't know. But yeah, that's what I just thought. So he succeeds in destroying heaven. And then it's basically like a... Like everything's destroyed and he has to... Fix everything or something. I don't know. You'd have to work it out. Huh. Hmm. Did you actually read that full book? I can't even remember. Even the Demon Slayer where... Satan and demons took over the world. And he has to escape to another world. Oh. Yeah. Well, the rest is basically like you just have to read it, but the cutscene was muted because I muted all the voices. Yeah, he basically I made a quick ending on that book because I was so exhausted from writing it And I didn't have the patience to try to Fit in 300 pages if you're gonna fit 300 pages in a book you have to have a lot of things happening man and that's I realized that My plot resolution and the things that were happening and I didn't have another I didn't really have very many like supporting characters that were really that significant oh no way I did yeah he, he oh okay yeah you just have you would have to just read it but basically Alien they go so the world that they are on they they discover there's a there's a higher form of magic there And the world is like Has magical energy That you know That's threat a threat and then So these aliens come and uh, butcher them and take them to the city but then it turns out that none of the people that the aliens killed died because they repaired them and healed them So all the people that died in the massacre came back. So they're in the courtyard, right? It's actually a pretty like cool like what I did with it 
I think someone zero starred it though on Amazon, and th I think that it's my story is really good, but it ha it needs to be rewritten and it needs. There's a lot of points in it where it's like I'm, I have repetitive speech. That being said, it's a good story if it was... Like if someone was going to write a script up based on it, it would be a good movie. But, you know, that depends on the actors and director and who's writing the script, dialogue. But anyways, so... They... Yeah, they end up destroying so this alien civilization is just like this It's just this crazy shit where they're just existing there and they have the city and They're advanced their city, but they're trying to like I can't even remember they're trying to take the 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 main characters like DNA or they're trying to They're using them to make like a person or like a a clone so they're trying to clone but they're like genetically altering him or something and then so that if the city ends up being destroyed and you don't find out later they don't all they know is that they, they were locked up and going to communicate and to cooperate with the aliens since it seemed like they massacred all their people but they didn't so they actually technically didn't do anything but just basically just imprison them essentially but so then he ends up meeting the character the, the clone and it's it's him it's the clone of him so But it's a more powerful wizard. He's a way more powerful wizard. And uh, it's, it's pretty, you know. I can't even remember how I... I can't even remember the ending. The ending was so short and sweet. Way, way to go. There I go. Taking the sh shine. No. It sounds like a good book though, man. I think that something that's important is putting like everyday people into like Or like one thing the movies do dude that I realize they put poor pe All it is is putting poor people in like per like in a in a situation where they they feel like Luke Luke is like a nobody, like a poor, like a, like an orphan, essentially. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like a poor, like nobody, just let, you know, kind of thing. And then they, they take, they take Luke. That's why, that's one of the reasons why Star Wars works so well. And it also the Luke the character He so I don't know man. It's like The realization of morality in in the things in the world Can be really relatable to Star Wars in such a way So if you can take like a poor person a nobody and then give them everything That's something really people really like to see But if you can align that with something that's relatable But also abstract to the point where it's like it's disguised You know like Darth Vader being a f Fucking head of a corporation, right? You see the Empire as a corporation that Essentially, I don't know it's like a metaphor
Too bad I muted the bitch. Oh, I think I need to stretch. You're going to be a bestseller. I think you have a good author name. Oliver Lyon is a good author name, man. Actually. Sounds like a good author name to me. Unless you want to go under. Try far doingle or something. That's that's fair. Maybe I should make some I need to fucking get to work man fuck Been fucking around all day Try fart to work though kind of fucked around today on this whole gaming expedition I'll get back on my schedule tomorrow man I might stream tomorrow. I probably will. But I need to get some shit done. Like, what time is it? Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. It got late fast. Enter ship. Where's the ship? Let's go over here. Bitch. Oh, am I going to a different planet? Oh my god. Wow. Damn. The day kind of disappeared. I've been streaming for four and a half hours. Maybe I should turn the voices back on. Jesus.
Hey, look, it's Doom. I'm playing Doom, look. This is like Doom and turn on the ship. It's just like it. Look at this. an innovation you know it's probably their data that made them do this they have story data you know going to different planets and space and stuff that's like you ever notice that man story data like you can basically write a story that people want to fucking read based on just data about them and some of them even know that they're going to read a story based on data about them crazy Oh, fuck off. What am I supposed to do? It's funny how I'm watching a guy. I'm asking a guy who's getting his bachelor's and um, English and writing if he knows that people write stories. <laughs> Did you know that? No, I'm only in school for it. Jeez. I'm only in school for it. What the fuck? What the fuck is this guy talking about? This fucking dipshit tried to give me a speech on how to write a book. Fucking pity little best, pity little self-published little punk ass bitch. Bitch, I'm gonna become a bestseller and you can lick my fucking asshole all the way here, in New York City, Tokyo, motherfucker. What you gonna say, mommy, now, bitch? Huh? You writing a book based on me, motherfucker? Huh? Is that what you're doing? You using me? You writer scum. I used you. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, man. I used you. Y you do realize that, man, right? As a writer, you have no fucking reason to associate with. You've already sucked me dry, man. You you've gotten everything you need out of my character, bro. Hey, hey, is that book a book about me? Is that book? I just wrote. I just watched this movie. It's this couple arguing. It's on Netflix. It's um, some I can't remember. It's pretty funny though. I guess. I don't really like this character. He's just some old guy. Nope, not gonna buy the expansion. I'm just here for a playthrough. I'm just here for a $20 playthrough, thanks. The main thing about this game is the gun experience. The feel of the gun The taste of the gun In your mouth when you blow your brains out because you don't want to play it anymore It's terrible 
It's not exciting not to play with real people. I'm gonna go play Daisy again. <laughs> Honey, I thought you were going to return that game. Oh my god. He's combining Jim Carrey, Adam Sandler, Robin Williams, and Chris Farley all into one simple little package on his penis. His little penis package. I got a penis package. Got a penis package. I got a penis package. Penis back, back, packing that penis. Prostitute, toot, tootin' that penis. You can sell me, sell me. Oliver's gonna become a bestseller. Then I'm going to look at him and be like, hey, you put me to shame. How convenient that was. How oh, convenient that was. Convenient it was. Convenient. Your agent. Yeah. You know what's funny, man? Is I don't think anybody really knows if they're gonna become like some phenomenon. But, you know, some of those people that are phenomenons, they work really hard, so work their asses off. I think that some of them work so hard that they just make sure that there's no way that they can't succeed. I hope you do. Dude, just imagine the, what you can have, though, man. Like... Really like dude, honestly, you could like have a, like a castle or something. You know what I'm saying? You really think about it, man. If you really think about that for a second, if you just Stop time and do something with your fucking life, man Serious Like if you can really organize some shit Just slow down Put in the work Think Think, think. Put that shit into place, man. There's some scary shit happening on this. Ooh. Oh, what's your book gonna be called, by the way? So I don't name it the same when I rip it off. Just kidding. Yeah, what's your book? Did you get a title yet? You seem very unexcited about the book titles I presented you with my books. So let's hear yours, big shot. Oh, fuck. Who's this? Was it pregnant? Ruins of Heaven. Ruins of Heaven. Ruins of Heaven. That's good. Did you look it up? Someone coming out with it? Yep. Sounds original. Type it in. That's what I do. So let's see. You're ruining it. Ruins. Maybe I shouldn't. Then I'll get into their search results and then, uh, Little Heaven, Heaven Stone's R Ruins, a book called Ruins, Ruins of the Heaven, Mike wrote us to me by the Exciters, Mysteries of the Bible, Ruins of the Heaven by the Exciters. They have a book called Ruins of the Heavens. The Art of Diablo 3. Reaper of oh, pfft, Diablo 3. Heaven's Ruins. A, a song mostly a song runes of heaven 
Uh, oh, it's a metal band. Auto Noceus. Ruins of Heaven by. There's a lot of people with the fucking. With songs called Ruins of Heaven. And they're metal. This guy's. A, this is a metal band. Abia. This other fucking band. Auto Neosis. You look it on, on Amazon, it's right here. Daniel White. Heavens and Ruins Lay by Vergomar. That's funny that they're they're metal. It's a metal song. Ah, it sounds like a metal song. <sighs> well, you know what, man? I'm I'm publishing a book called Castle in the a poster book called Castle in the Hound Clouds. And there's other there's other book called Castle Cloud Cast Castle in the Clouds. But I don't care. It don't matter to me. I just like the name so much that I want to make it into a book. But it's a poetry collection. I can't even remember like. And then my other one is called um, Laundry Mat Poetry. So Castle in the Clouds and Laundry Mat Poetry. Those are my two new poetry books. You heard it here first. I don't think there's really a poetry book called Class on the in the Clouds. No. Not a poet well. I don't know if this is poetry. No. That's not poetry. There's no poetry book called Castle in the Clouds. So there's a couple books. Actually, there's like one book called Castle in the Clouds. Two. No, there's a lot of book called Castle in the Clouds. Not poetry though. Kind of unoriginal. It's kind of unoriginal, but it's kind of like like a poetry book called Castle in the Clouds. You know what I'm saying? I dig it. I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm so fucking incredible and I, I'm I'm just not, I guess. I don't know. My success is yet to be determined. Man, I just feel like I could die any day and like everything I did would just be nothing, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that die that are artists and writers and all this and Dude, do you ever think about this? Okay, so So Mozart and Beethoven and you know But all the all these artists right all these fucking piano players Beethoven Mozart I can't remember there's there's a couple other ones um but all the other people that were fucking doing music right and our history books just have these artists like gotta be more there's more there's a lot more right Yeah, that's how I kind of feel, dude. Like, I kind of feel like my poetry is, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know because not a lot of people get to read my poetry. 
but there's a lot of poets out there man it's just the same with everything man there's so many damn people out there man i just feel like so insignificant I just don't know and the whole the whole philosophy of being a big deal is just like I don't know man it's better to work towards something than to than to be depressed or just you know just think that life's just pointless but I don't think you really have to You know what I'm saying like I don't really think you have to be sit here and be like, oh, yeah I'm what I'm doing is pointless or What I'm doing really needs to go anywhere But as a grown man I needed to go somewhere If it possibly can I don't think people can write like me man. I don't think they can do comedy like me I don't think anybody like I well, I know no one can but I think I might have something really really special and it's just hard to Really get people to pay attention for a little bit or, or appreciate it because they're so hell-bent A lot of them are just bent around Who's popular right now and everything that's happening and They get used to how things are done And I'm trying to do it in such a way that it's like for every single second you're watching me, I'm putting out such an enormous amount of energy and to be entertaining in that elevated way where only a few people can ever fucking get. Where not very many people can get. Because some people have, they, some people get maxed out and I don't want to be maxed out. And I am 30 and that's kind of old. 30 is kind of old, man. Like, it's not but it kind of is like it's like that age like right before you get old like every fucking like 40 is fucking old you know like when you get 40 you're fucking officially old like 30 is like okay you're not 20 anymore you're 30 Well, that's the difference, man. I've actually kind of formed of an opinion, a perspective that it doesn't even, doing things local almost cannot even matter in a certain sense, but it can also be equally impactful. It's weird. It can be a performance and rehearsal difference but it can actually I don't know where I'm going. I can't tell It can be like this thing where it's like I don't know Sort of uh Like you could just utilize the internet But I was actually explaining this last night on Twitter too. I was tweeting about it because I was I, I, I've been writing about it too It's like the power in live performances versus like You know Prefabricated shit, but then Basically performance rehearsal prefabricated premeditated Impro improv as well Because I just like having fun and doing improv shit, bro I don't like to script everything out make this big deal of it. That's that's 
to me that's kind of an actor too is because an actor isn't a writer an actor is a fucking actor so and not many people get to like really experience or be inspired to what an actor is in that particular thing and not only that a comedy actor to me a comedy actor is but someone can see a fucking you know what's weird bro is i think of a person can see a drama a drama actor like i see a comedy actor you know what i'm saying like a person can see Which is a weird thing That a person has such a different mind and they're such a different fan That they would actually pick more dramatic roles versus comedic roles Because you can see the purpose and acting just as well as comedy, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Jesus. Okay, where are the stairs? How do I get down there? Ah, this is annoying. Oh, fuck you, man. I don't know man I don't really know what to think I think my streams could be a lot better if I was acting in them all the time I think you got to build up to it though you want to be in a full performance a full performing like professional actor in a stream like this you got to build on it I don't have a fucking audience. That's what sucks. Like, I don't have a lot of people. God damn, dude. Fuck. Oh, this is aggravating me. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go.
Better hope I become the... I should just get it. Dude, I'm actually probably... I'm probably going to get it. W once this Corona stuff levels out, I'm probably... I might just get a normal job and just chill. I don't even care. What? Uh, how come I don't have 50? I had a bunch of money. What, did I get robbed or something? Jeez, this fucking ship's big. Like my dick. Jesus. Max and max a pad pad pad. He's a max a pad lad. Oh hell. I have five thousand dollars. What? Oh shit, what did I just spend? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose everything, man. What the fuck? Level 27? What? Where is that? What? What is that? Knife drain. I'm addicted. I like it. Oh. Thank you. Oh, you son of a bitch. You almost killed me. <laughs> My slot addiction murdered me. <laughs> that was fucking pretty funny, actually.
Must win. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, use slot machine. Oh my god, look how much Can I actually sell this stuff? I spent all my fucking money like an idiot. Oh, dude, I didn't even know I had this. Fuck, dude, I hope that my car isn't fucked or something. Wait a couple more days. Fuck, man. I had a really bad day today, man. I, I had a really bad day. This has been one of the worst days. Can I sell shit here or what?
I'll probably be done here after I figure out what the fuck if I can finish this mission real quick. Yeah, I kind of had a bad day. I didn't really want to play video games all day, but I'm going to see if this is the end of the mission. Return to the bridge. Somehow I doubt that robot would clog that hole, but whatever. Oh look, it's Halo now. We went from Doom to Halo. But Doom is now Halo. Borderlands is too now. Zip -a -da -da -da. Oh, I just wanna I just want it to be Tuesday, man. Okay, so I got one more day and then uh, and then I'll make it there Yeah Fuck it kind of was If you think about it the stories are the same like the stories are are the same they just have different circumstances and names think about it man it's a, it's the same fucking story really i mean everything is but the climax halo is if he doesn't stop it then the whole universe is going to be destroyed which is like a completely mine you know, to destroy the universe is like the ultimate thing, you know? Like Guardians of the Galaxy or some shit. Avengers, Endgame. But, um... But Doom's like, oh, you know... Kill all the humans and shit. You know, Doom Doom is actually like made demons aliens. Without you noticing that they were aliens, you know what I'm saying? They used Mars to make the demons aliens. You ever notice that? But they don't appear like aliens, they appear like demons from Mars. Which is completely fucking genius. And it's completely scary You know what's funny though people always said they were scared of doom. I was never scared. I just love the game Like I, I can't even play that game. I'm scared people are always like, oh my god Stephen King scares the shit out of me or something you know, or some shit like that. I'm like man I just think it's cool you Gotta admit old school it I gotta admit, old school, it's 
scared the shit right out of me. I gotta admit, old school it scares the shit right out of me. The Halo is like a well, everything's basically a story innovation. I don't even know why I'm writing anymore, man. I had to write. I had too much stuff to. I had too much stuff, dude. I wanted to be successful. I wanted to be a bestseller, but. I wanted to put my art out there at the same time, so I'm actually grateful I was able to do that. Eh, maybe I, I maybe it's time to quit. This looks pretty cool though. Look at this scene. This scene looks pretty dope, dude. Look at this. I'm actually kind of impressed with this scene. This is pretty cool. Wow. Wow, they kind of went all out with this, dude. Look at this. This looks cool. Wow. I'm actually kind of like. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised. That was a cool thing about Halo. Man, Halo 1 is so good. Halo, when I played Halo 1, that was it, man. That's still a, good, a high quality game. There's nothing like Halo 1. I'm very close to being like a hardcore Halo fan. Like I'm I'm like Borderland. No. I'm like borderline. I was going to go like I was going to quit, but this is pretty interesting actually. This is I like this world. They did a good job on this game, man. Oh, they're level 10. Fry you motherfuckers. I should build some shit like this. I can do it. It just takes time. Fuck. I can't move. I can't move. Oh shit. Shit. No, fuck, dude. That guy ran away. All right, well, I'm I'm out of here, dude. Just keep an eye out, I guess. I, I'm uh, I don't know, whatever. I don't know how much I'm gonna be streaming. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty done. I'll see you later. Have a good one. Yeah, dude. Hopefully, uh, hopefully my car goes. Hopefully my car is going to be all right. That's all I can think about, really. But I'll see you later. Have a good one, bro.